You know, when you think pizza, you may think pizzeria, but you know what? There are other places out there these days that are doing pizza. And in fact, one of them is Rayo's Bakery this morning. Josh DeTorris joins us to talk a little bit about that. Now, is this a new thing that you guys are doing? Are you doing it in all your stores? We've been doing it at Calder for about three or four months. Yeah. Uh, we haven't rolled it out to all the stores. We're just doing it right now, uh, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Dallin Road. And we do it here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at Calder. So it's, it's a test project. Is that what it, from the yeah. test kitchen? We, yeah, and uh, <laughs> you know, let me tell you, it's not, it's not that tough of, uh, one of the perks of the job is being in the test kitchen. Yeah, I would think that would be the upside. The downside would be trying to get into your same suit a year later, right? Well, you know, uh, afternoon naps is a downside <laughs> as well. I'm sure it is. But, but uh, definitely it's a lot of fun to uh, play around. And what's really neat about what we've incorporated with the pizzas is uh, family recipes. It's, it's always fun to be able to, you know, talk to customers and talk to people like yourself and say, you know, this recipe that we're going to make today is, you know, one that's passed down from my family from uh, several generations. Now, it's interesting because you sent some over this morning, and so I've been kind of quizzing. I haven't had any yet, so I've been quizzing everybody, and they're like, oh, it's like an open-faced sandwich almost. Yeah, it's similar. You know, we're using, uh, you could definitely compare it to a flatbread. Um, we're using our focaccia recipe. Um, this is where we start. It's a basic focaccia bread recipe. Uh, and then we just, this recipe covers, has it covered with tomato sauce. And the one, that, this is the recipe actually that y'all had this morning. And uh, it really, similar to an open face pizza or open face sandwich. But, uh, you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little messy. It's a little messy. Now, the, the interesting thing about this is you could also, and why I like this so much is you could do this at your house, like you say, and make your own version of this pizza, right? I mean, because you stop and get the focaccia bread at the bakery, then you can go home and do your own. Definitely. Uh, you would put it in your oven, um, you know, put it on broil take whatever bread you wanted. I mean, it doesn't have to be focaccia bread. That's just what we're using because we really like the recipe for the focaccia bread. And, you know, it, it just make whatever you want. I mean, this is a family recipe for us. What family recipes may you have that you want to incorporate into a, into a pizza? All right, so what, I'm going to ask, I'm assuming it's mozzarella, but what kind of cheese are you putting on there? This is a 50-50 blend of provolone and mozzarella. And, you know, it's very high-quality cheese. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, as far as ingredients-wise, we're not using a lot of ingredients for the toppings. Right, you know, right. We have our, uh, our spread, our, this is a muffalata pizza. I hadn't gotten to the name, but this is our muffalata spread. That This is the, what's been passed down, you know, for generations in our family. Uh, we're also doing the uh, mortadella and ham to go on top as well. But th there really aren't that many ingredients to it. Well, I like that. So, and, and again, if you take it home, you could do pepperoni if you wanted to. I mean, again, that's up to you. I guess you could also go with a white sauce instead of a red sauce, right? You could, yeah, Dan, I mean, it's, it's really your preference what you want to go with. Um, for, uh, for us, we went with a red sauce, a more traditional. Right. But you could add, I mean, you don't need sauce. Um, you could really go with uh, no sauce at all. And I'm going to show you, I wanted to take out and show you, this is the oven that we're using. This oven has been here since we opened it, called it. Wow. And this is what the pizza, this is oh. our eggplant. Eggplant mozzarella pizza right here with green olives. But what really makes this process exciting is we're using an oven that they've been using in Italy for centuries. Right. And uh, we've had it here at Calder since it opened in uh, 1941. Wow, that's impressive. And again, so again, give us the days. If I want to come by and sample it, pick up some for lunch, what are the days you're serving pizza? On, at Calder, we're doing it Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, okay. at Dallin Road, we do it uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All so right. you really, and, and Dallin Road, they're open late, so you're able to have it for dinner.
All right, sounds good. Josh, we're going to come back and talk some more. Again, Josh DeTorres at Rayo's Bakery. And again, remember, swing by, pick up the bread if you want, go home and make your own pizza, or if you prefer, grab a slice there, if you will, at uh, Rayo's Bakery. It's coming up in about seven minutes now, away from the top of the hour. As we continue this morning, Mr. Brown's back with a look at what's happening in your forecast for the rest of the week.